Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Ninja Cold Press Juicer Pro. Now this one is a product that just snuck up on me. I didn't even know Ninja made something like this, but it's still relatively new. And I saw this on my way out of Target, just zigzagging through aisles and bam, there it was. So if you wanna pick it up at a place like Target, it's gonna cost $129.99. So what is this thing? What can you do with it? Well, you're gonna make juice. You're gonna make juice by putting in different fruits and vegetables and then letting the auger squeeze the juice out of of it and it's all going to go down into a container and then the pulp is going to come out of the other end that you can use for compost you can throw it away or you can also mix it into some other ingredients that you might feel like doing so it won't be a complete waste looking at the box here here are the the fancy things that they want you to know. They want you to know that it's three times quieter than a typical uh, juicer of this kind which is considered to be like a masticating juicer says that you're going to get more juice per pound of produce and that it's also going to be easy to clean. Here are some of the juices that they say you can do. Fruit juices, nutrient juices, and wellness shots. And they also let you control the amount of pulp that you get from the juice. So they have these three um, filters that come with this thing. So you can connect it so you can have a little bit of pulp, you can have a lot of pulp, or you can have no pulp at all. So it's good that they give you that choice. And of course, I'm sure there's a recipe book in here too, as well as the motor base, a 16 ounce juice jug, the pulp container, a cleaning brush, and there it is, the recipe inspiration guide. All right, so pretty simple stuff. Let's run it through its paces, shall we? But first, let's open it up, see what we get, clean everything, and get started. Okay, ladies and gents, here is everything that comes in the box. Of course, you got the base, and let's just turn it ever so slightly so you can see that Ninja insignia right there on the side. And then on the back, there's only two buttons. We got start and stop, and then hold to reverse. You're gonna use hold to reverse just in case it gets clogged and you kind of need to reset things. That's what the reverse is for. Here are the three filters that you are going to have. This one right here has like little medium sized holes. So this is the one that you're going to use for a little bit of pulp. The orange one has the biggest holes. So that one is going to be for a lot of pulp. It's easy to remember because orange is like orange juice and orange juice you think lots of pulp. So that's that. And then you're also going to get this one which is no pulp at all. So three filters total, I'll move those out of the way. You're also going to get this thing. I don't know what it's called, but this is what you use to push the fruits and vegetables into the machine. And you're going to get this black plastic container, which is going to catch the pulp as it comes out. This is the 16 ounce juice container that your juice is going to fall into. This is your cleaning brush. It's got bristles like a regular toothbrush. And then it also has bristles up here for those uh, get a little finer detail, especially if you're trying to clean uh, the insides of things where the brushes might not completely fit. This is the food chute that goes on top of the machine. It's easier to feed food into the machine that way. And you can get like different foods like right here. So it won't have to be on your countertop if that makes any sense. And then finally, these three pieces go together. So let me show you how you're going to set this up. Now, from here, this is the auger piece, right? So you're going to take this and feed it into there, just like that. See, it comes out that side. So you put that in. All right, now you choose which filter you want to use. So let's just say you want to use the one that's absolutely no pulp. So what you're gonna do is make sure that this part right here, this is, this is a control that you use to uh, either keep the juice in or let the juice come out. Right now the chute is open. And then you do like that to make it go close. So anyway, make sure that this is facing down take your filter, make sure that the metal part of the filter is also facing down and just insert that in just like that. All right. Then you take this part that kind of looks like a little helmet type thing. And then you put this onto here, 
twist it to the left to lock it in. At this point, you can take it over to the machine. You see like there's that little entryway right there. And then you simply stick it into the machine, facing the right, twist it left, and then it locks right into place. All right, now here's the part that goes on top for the food. You can just stick that down just like that. And as you put your food in, you're gonna use this to kind of press it down in there. And then you just take your 16 ounce container and just put it right there. And then take the other little plastic part and put it right there. And that is the basic setup of how everything is going to work. All right, so now let's clean this thing up. And um, I got some fruits and some vegetables that I'm gonna run through this. All right, so let's start things off pretty simple. Just gonna do some orange juice. I got myself three oranges that I've, uh, of course I peeled them and I just kind of broke them apart a little bit. Three regular normal size Florida oranges, I think. And let's juice it. All right, so I got the uh, a lot of pulp filter installed on here. And let's turn it on. You can see that auger pushing its way over there. Um, we're also gonna make sure that this part is not actually covering the hole. So make sure that that's open. And I'll start throwing in some oranges. Now oranges, you know, they're very soft. So it's not gonna take a whole lot to work its way through the auger. And notice that the pulp is gonna be coming out of this end. But I do want to stress because I do have another juicer that I use quite a bit and it works just like this one. And I would just say, hey, take your time. Don't rush it. You know, don't just throw a whole bunch of stuff into the chute and just expect juice to be flowing out like a waterfall of, of nutrition. Take your time, you know, and it's a lot easier with something like oranges. But when you start incorporating some harder things like apples and even when you have some leafy vegetables those are gonna those are gonna take uh, a little bit more time it's gonna be a little bit more stress if you're going to be doing some some leafy vegetables as well as something that's very juicy like an orange or something I like to just sort of mix them in at the same time you know so if it seems like the leafy greens are starting to get a little bit caught up or whatever you know, it's kind of like if you're eating something and uh, it's a little dry, what do you do? You drink something, you add a little bit of liquid to it so it can go down easier. Same thing with this. So this is just probably like the easiest possible example of how, you know, a masticating juicer works. And it's just gonna be nice and easy. So we're gonna let that uh, run its course right there now one thing that i will say compared to the other juicer that i have that's not a very expensive juicer at all is that um i don't i it didn't have to wait until i put everything in there for it to kind of work its way into getting all the juices out usually you know once it once it goes down in there it's done and um i haven't had to wait very long but i did notice that it was still a little bit of spinning going on there. So anyway, I'm not going to hold that against it. You see that we got some pulp still right there, kind of clinging on. We're gonna have to get in there and do some manual cleaning, but here's the pulp from these oranges. And this pulp here, even as I squeeze it, I'm not getting like hardly any juice out of it, but it is in and of itself, you know, still wet. I mean, it's, it's from an orange, it's, it's gonna be that way. All right, so now I'm gonna just grab this right here, pour in some juice. Nice and orange, you know, not like uh, not like that yellow juice. Oh, and here's another thing I forgot to do. Close that when you're done with it. All right, let's um, take a drink. 
<laughs> yeah. Now, of course, it's good, but that that depends on the oranges that you have. If you got some bitter oranges, you're going to have some bitter juice. But as I was peeling these oranges, I noticed that they were uh, pretty juicy. And this orange juice is absolutely fantastic. All right. Good stuff. Now, here's another thing. We're going to clean it. I totally recommend that when you're done with it, you clean it. Don't let this stuff sit and get hard. Don't make it harder on yourself to clean. So let's do that now. Let's take this thing apart. Let me move this over here. And then there's a little release. Well, let's take this off too. Now there's a little release button right there that you got to push and then twist this and then it comes off. And you see that, let's move this back. All right, so you see like that pulp is still kind of in there. Let's let's twist this off. All right, so we still got that going on. And one thing that we can do, so it's not too hard to kind of get your finger in there and clean this out. You can also use the little brush for some of the stuff that gets uh, kind of clogged deep down in, you see like that right there. So yeah, so I can just take the brush and just kind of push this out. And comes out that side. You know, if you got a garbage disposal, you know, it'll work a whole lot easier, but it's hard to do all this on camera. So I'm just gonna clean this off in the sink. And as you can see, like this part comes off. Look at all that pulp. There's a lot of pulp inside of this. So yeah. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be doing some apples and then I also have some spinach right here. The type of apples I'm gonna be using are pink lady apples. They're these sort of uh, reddish pinkish type of an apple and um, they're pretty sweet. So I wanna give that a shot and yeah, let's get started. Let's turn this on. All right, here we go. Let's stuff few apples and some spinach down in there. Did I say that this was lettuce? I can't remember. It's not lettuce, it's spinach. Now when you do have um, something like apples that's a little bit harder, you're going to hear this grinding noise as it goes through the auger. And it's not going to take long to get all this in there, but is going to enjoy the whole experience and always remember just kind of you know take your time with it now i did just clean this out from the oranges that i juiced and i just really want to reiterate the importance of cleaning this as soon as you can after you use it especially with something like oranges it has all that all that pulp and if you don't get that out that pulp is just going to stick to the sides of everything and it's just going to be more of a pain you don't want to have to deal with scrubbing you know you just you just want to do some light some light wiping and that's pretty much the extent of it so it wasn't hard to clean. Everything was nice and loose. It's just some nice warm water turned up pretty high. That was really all I needed. Now, see how I just kind of stuffed a whole bunch of it into the chute just now? That's something I typically don't like to do. Simply because, you know, I just don't want to give the machine a chance to clog by just putting way too much stuff in there, you know? It's going to take our time. Now, of course, when, when this is done, the juice may not look all that appetizing. 
because you know the, the spinach takes over it's going to make it look super green and like oh like, you know but it's okay because the spinach will overtake the apples in color but the apples will overtake the spinach in flavor so everything is going through pretty smooth so far and i really just think that that's the uh that's the key just don't overload it you know take your time the masticating juicer takes its time to get his job done and so should we all right last bunch right there and like i said earlier i can still see some juice kind of like right there just kind of going around in a circle doesn't look like there well there's a little bit that's still dripping but not a whole lot not a whole lot so we're gonna we're gonna call it all right we're gonna stop it right there this pulp right here this pulp is uh pretty dry it is pretty dry it's not like the oranges because of course the oranges were just filled with juiciness already but this is very very dry you see how it kind of like crumbles like that all right let me wash my hands real quick and let's take a look at this juice got my jar here's a look at the juice with the foam on the top now what you could do you could just take a strainer and pour this through the strainer into the glass if you don't want to deal with the foam but if you don't mind So that was three kind of like regular normal size apples and a couple handfuls of spinach. And we got about that much juice out of it. I keep forgetting to close that thing. All right, so here we go. Cheers, see how it tastes. Excellent, excellent. Like I said, even if you're adverse to like uh, vegetable juices, juices and stuff like that, the apples overtake the spinach you can still taste some leafiness but it's mostly the apples through and through yeah that was some really really good stuff so i hope that, that gave you a pretty decent idea of how this um, ninja cold press juicer pro handles some pretty simple fruits and vegetables now of course there's all different types of recipes that you can use for this including recipes that tell you what to do with the pulp when you're done so there's some combo recipes you can get some two-in-ones out of that as well but yeah just experiment with it you know you can get yourself some ginger some cantaloupe some watermelon you can do berries you can do strawberries just don't do bananas because those don't have juice and also don't use ice don't use frozen fruits don't use frozen vegetables those are not going to work in this thing and everything is dishwasher safe with the exception of the main base right here so yeah there you go guys that is the uh new ninja juicer and i think it handled things just as well as i thought that it that it would so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up enjoy this juice and uh, i'll try some more stuff in the future but until then thanks for watching until next time i'm jeremy talk to you later